Okay, let's open up the NYBG layers file. This is a file I've prepared for you, just so we don't have to go through the process of creating layers and assigning colors to them. This ensures we all get the same results at the end. If you're using Rhino on a Windows platform, which is how I work, your default view will look like this. I won't spend time going through the commands or the workspaces, as you're going to become familiar with it as we work. There are a few things we need to set up before we begin. I have generally matched my Rhino commands to correspond to those in CAD, so I've exported a file for you to use called Rhino aliases. Let's load that up, and that way we can be sure we're all using the same command shortcuts in this series. A few ways to do this. One way is to just type in options. That brings up the options menu and we can go to aliases. We see all the aliases that we use here in Rhino. Another way to access this menu is to go to view, display options, same menu. So click on aliases and let's go to import, select the file that's in the references. It's a text file and just open that up. Mine is already loaded. And so I'm just going to click OK. You can say yes to all and then OK. While we're here, we're also going to add a new display mode. So if you go back to options and look at the very bottom down here in view and then display modes, you'll see all of the display modes that are possible within Rhino right now. This will become more important later. So let's just load up the one I've saved for you. Go into display modes, import, presentation display. It's an I and I file and just press yes. Okay. I have one more helpful bit in this file. We can access it by clicking your mouse's scroll button. This brings up a quick menu that I'll be accessing quite a bit. If you click this little arrow, you'll see there's a bunch of sub options that come up. Go to the light bulb here, and this is a portal to the items that are currently hid from the viewport. There's lots of reasons you might want to temporarily hide things from view, so let's get used to using this quick access. You see there's a rectangle here, select it and press enter. Okay, I'm going to select this rectangle and just press ZSA. That will zoom all selected objects into the width of the viewport. Then I'll just double click the top here to expand the viewport and that way we are drawing in plan. Check also that your planar drawing is turned on and we'll get ready to import the sketch. This is a sketch by Raymond Jungles, a protege of Brazilian modern artist and designer Roberto Brilla Marx. If you haven't seen Brilla Marx's works or paintings, you should definitely check them out. This garden was a guest curation at the New York Botanical Gardens, and it's going to be our teaching guide today. So type in the command picture frame, navigate to the folder with the sketch. Let's start at the origin here where our rectangle is and size it exactly according to this rectangle. If you don't have the ability to snap to the end point, make sure your snaps down here are turned on and that end is checked off. Also check that your O snap is on over here. These points are really handy and we'll use them as we draft to match up endpoints and make sure our drawings are square when they need to be. So match them up to the endpoints here. So let's just select this and lock it. That ensures that we don't accidentally move it around while we're drafting over top of it. Okay, quick note. If you wanted to draw an elevation, say you had a section or an elevation, you would do this exact same process, but in the front view window. So if you have a plan and a section that correspond to each other, you can use the plan and front or side viewports to move in between those types of projections. And you can see in perspective view how that looks. Finally, let's go through a few navigational commands. Z enters the zoom menu, and we see the options here. E stands for extents. It takes us to zoom extents. That will bring the entirety of objects into view. Z enter, E enter is a common command I'll be using, along with ZSA, zoom all selected. This allows us to select anything we want anywhere in the viewport and focus on it and zoom right into it. So let's just zoom back into this and in the next video we'll start learning to draft.